Hi, I'm Mike Thornton from Production Expert, and today I'm going to show you how to use Brushfree from Clevgrand. If I say that Brushfree means noise free in Swedish, it probably will explain what the Brushfree plugin is all about. It is, of course, a denoising plugin. So let's get straight into how we can use it. So on this track here, if we instantiate an instance of Brush free, so here we are, Clevgrand Brush Free. And then this is the interface, and we'll get into this in more detail throughout this tutorial. But the basic concept is to highlight a section of clean noise. And then if I click and hold on the learn icon here, you'll see you get this cloud. And then if I just play the audio, learns it. and then let go, it's carrying on processing it. And now we've got a process audio. So if I just click away and then just play the audio. This is recording a voice memo on my phone with the window open. You can hear without making any adjustments to any of the settings, it's made a pretty good job of cleaning up this voice memo recording that I made in the studio here with my window to the outside world open. Let's take a look at some of the controls down here. If we take a listen to this section where I'm clapping my hands. You might be able to hear that the background just after the clap the background noise just comes up a little bit. And what we can do to help fix that is to adjust here the release control. I'm going to use my mouse wheel and just adjust it so that now you won't hear the pumping of the background noise. This is recording a voice memo on my phone with the window open. And then obviously we've got a similar process for the attack, but I do tend to find I keep the attack pretty fast. And more often than not, I'm actually speeding up the release as well. But the other control in this section is the threshold. So again, if we just play this and I adjust the threshold, you can start to hear the noise come back. This is recording and as I bring this down, my phone, with the window open. We can adjust the threshold and therefore effectively adjust the strength of the noise reduction. So let's move along to another audio track. So let's put uh, Brush Free into Bypass and have a listen as the uh, track kind of explains itself. This is a second recording with my SE Electronics Mini. Open the window a little bit further to see whether Brushfree can cope with this. So again, what we'll do is we'll select a section, say this bit here, and you'll notice up here in the timeline that the length is only 15 frames. One of the key things with uh, Brushfree is it's good to give it at least a second's worth of clean noise if you can have such an oxymoron. So what I do often is to get that sort of bit of clean noise, but if it's less than a second, then use the loop playback in this case in Pro Tools. So I can click and hold down on the learn and then play the audio and it will loop. Now that perhaps isn't a, such a good one to go for because it's obviously got a breath. So maybe we'll just look at this bit at the end here. So yeah, that's a nice section. So I can give it more than a second of audio. So again, Hold down the learn and press play and it will reanalyze the noise profile. When I'm happy, let go. There we go. It's now analyzed. So let's take another listen to this. This is a second recording with my SE Electronics Mini. Open the window a little bit further to see whether Brushfree can cope with this. So again, we could just speed up the release. This is a second recording 
with my SC Electronics Mini. Notice if I go too far, it gets really quite distorted. So we need a little bit of a release. Can cope with this. But once we get sort of beyond about 10 milliseconds, all is good. Now the next file I'm going to play is one of my sort of test files that I keep in stock for really testing out audio restoration software. So let's just take a listen to this one with brush free in bypass. This is a typical example of a poorly recorded item using a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. And you can hear that there's a lot of electronic hiss on that recording. So let's take a look. We've also got a good section of clean noise. So let's take it out of bypass, click and hold and learn, and take a listen, let it analyze that. And there we go. So let's just take a listen to that, see what it's done without making any changes, just using the default settings on the plugin. This is a typical example of a poorly recorded item using a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. So the first thing I want to do again is to speed up the release time. This is a typical example of a poorly recorded item using a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. This is a typical example so of a poorly recorded item improved it, using got a rid dynamic of the pumping. microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. So let's now just adjust this. So here we've got the threshold. So let's just go into loop playback just to make things easier. This is a typical example of a poorly recorded item using a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. So we're just on the edge this of the threshold now. Of a poorly recorded item using but a now what I'm going to do is use the edge control. And this sort of is like a smoothing control that you might find on other audio restoration software. So let's just play that again and adjust the edge control. This is a typical example of a poorly recorded item using a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. This is a typical example of a poorly recorded so item. So we can fine tune the threshold on a domestic mini disc recorder. This is a typical example of a poorly recorded item. So using before a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. This is a typical example of a poorly recorded item using a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. This is a typical example of a poorly recorded item using a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. So we might adjust this it so there's a just a little bit of noise. This is a recorded item using a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. And I think you'll agree that the result... This is a typical example of a poorly recorded item using a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. ...is a lot, lot better than the original. This is a typical example of a poorly recorded item using a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. But what about the next one that we're going to play? For G, somehow, that news brought her specialness up again. Now this was a recording of somebody's funeral service. And unfortunately, the screen had come off the mic lead, hence the significant amount of hum and buzz. So this is a very demanding recording. To finish off this tutorial, let's take a look at how Brusfree can handle this one. So again, the important thing is to try and find a clean section. So that'll do nicely. So we'll take out a bypass, click and hold the learn, Play the audio, let go, and there we go. So now it's processed it. So again, let's just take a listen at how it's handled this difficult file with the default settings. For G, somehow, that news brought her specialness up a gear. And brought up a gear her inner strength. And she set herself the targets. So that's an awful lot better, but let's see if we can improve it even further. So the first thing I'm going to do is, again, speed up the release. For G, somehow, that news brought her specialness up again. 
and brought up her gear her inner strength. Now let's play with the threshold. And she set herself the targets. For G, somehow, that news brought her specialness up her gear. Now there's also a high pass filter here on the side chain. So let's just see how this functions. If I turn it right down, listen to what happens. That news brought her specialness up a gear. And brought up a gear. We go right down. So let's bring it back up and maybe take it right up. So again, that's helped to bring out even more of the hum and buzz. And now let's just see what happens if we bring the edge in, the smoothing control. And we'll just tweak the thresher hold. You can see now that, again, we've just started to gate it a bit. So it's pumping. That news brought her specialness up a gear. And brought up a gear her inner strength. And now we've got this last control, the high, which basically helps to brighten things, to compensate for some sort of high-frequency loss. That news brought her specialness up a gear. So there we go. Bypass. Up a gear, her inner strength. Processed. And she set herself the targets. And there we go. I hope that's given you an, a really good insight into how you can use Brush Free from Clef Grant. I'll see you again soon.